The former Florissant police officer seen on video using his police cruiser to hit a fleeing suspect has been charged with multiple counts. News 11's Vic Faust was at the news conference today for St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar and has more on his decision. This is video from a ring doorbell home security system showing former Florissant police officer Joshua Smith hitting a fleeing suspect with his police SUV. Today, the St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar announced charges against Smith. We have filed assault in the first degree, armed criminal action, and assault in the fourth degree. Assault in the first degree and armed criminal action are felony charges with 10 to 30 year sentences with a minimum of three years. Lomar also says it's clear from the video that Joshua Smith filed a false police report of the incident. He describes what Smith reported. He saw the victim exit the vehicle. The victim darted in front of his car and in an effort to avoid colliding with him, he swerved. And nonetheless, the collision took place. Uh, the video evidence just proves that that's patently false. The moment that vehicle turned its headlights towards the victim, that became a 4,000 pound missile. The victim's lawyers, Jermaine Wooten and Gerald Christmas, say their client suffered a leg injury that will affect him the rest of his life and don't know why the officer didn't offer aid on scene. When the officer jumped on him and he started beating him, the bone in his leg had already ruptured the skin. So the bone was hanging out of his leg at the time that this officer was kicking and beating him. I spoke with my client uh, shortly after learning about the charges and he's uh, satisfied. Uh, he's been going through just unimaginable pain and this gave him a sense of relief. Smith and two other officers in the police SUV say they started following the black charger because it matched a description of a car associated with shots fired from three days prior. Smith says they followed the car into a neighborhood where he then turned off his police lights. But the victim says he never saw any lights and didn't know he was being followed until the last moment. At this point, it's not clear why the victim and two other men jumped out